Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to talk about device views. But before I do, I want you to go into your your header layout and I want you to edit the sign-in. We're going to give it a new path called sign-in path. And what this will do is it will make it so that our, our page actually has a link now. So if we click sign-in, it will actually lead us to our new sign-in path. Probably it doesn't really look that good. We're going to change that in this video, but you know, it works. So without further ado, let's get right into what we want to accomplish for today. And that is to generate our views. So go to your terminal and do rails generate device views org people. And you're going to wait and let it generate, but before we do that, let's just close that off there because we're just going to be looking at views. So you can see that it generated a bunch of views for you to use, and we probably won't go through all of them, but we will go through most of them. So what we want to do first is we want to go into our views, we're going to go into our people, we're going to look into confirmations and see what's in there. So if we look into confirmations, let's open this up. We have this little setup here, and that really represented um, what you'll see when you want to resend a confirmation. So if we go to here and we click didn't receive confirmations, then you could see that that is where that form is generated. Uh, we're going to do a lot of uh, simple changes that will include bootstrap, so I'm really just going to copy and paste from another file just to make this really quick. So I don't want you to type out the, this code, I really want you to actually grab the grab the code from, from the zip file that I have with almost every video and just to use that as the project we're going to go with. So that's for new and then we're going to do the same thing for confirmation instruction. Um, that actually looks fine, so we're just going to leave that as it is. The reset password also looks fine, so we're also just going to leave that as it is. Unlock instructions, um, this also looks fine, so we're just going to leave that as it is. The passwords, we're going to go to edit. Now, this is something that we want to change, so let's go ahead and change that. And we'll save that. And then we'll go to new. And new would also have to change. And we'll save that. And we'll go to registrations. And we'll go to edit. And let's see. Edit is. This should be fine right now, but we'll just make it more clean. So we'll change that there. And we'll go to registration. Now, registration is a pretty big change. It's going to include a lot more things than they have in the basics. So if you go to sign up, this is how registration currently looks like. So I'm just going to copy and paste some code in and really just take this from the zip file because you don't want to do some unnecessary typing. So I'm going to paste that in there. And if you go back, it should look a little bit different. See, now the code that I just put in, it made it look much nicer. And it included first name and last name as extra fields that the user would have to fill in in order to, in order to sign up with us. But we want to go back to our code, look at sessions. And our sessions, we would want to make a little bit of change. And that's fine. Our shared is something that we want to look at as well. And shared should be fine as well. Adding some extra comments there. And unlocks. The unlock should be fine but as it's by itself. Um, yeah, and it looks like it's, it should be a fine. It's fine not to change anything in there. But again, those are all the views that we want to change. So let's just go back and see what happened. So if we click login, 
then you can see that now it's using Bootstrap because it's highlighting because it didn't look like crap. It, it looked like crap before. It didn't have any styling, but after we copy and paste this code in, which you will, you can type it out if you want. Who, who am I to tell you what to do? But it's probably faster just to open the zip file that I'll attach to this video and examine what I did. So now we have a nice looking form for signing in users, uh, signing up users, for resending confirmation instructions, and for for getting pa for getting your password. So that's all I want to go through in this video. Uh, you now have a almost pretty good working device sign up authentication uh, authentication widget going on here. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And if you have any ideas or projects that you want to throw, throw past me, then you can email us at coursehack at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.